<clears throat> Hi, Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising. And Venus. Welcome, welcome, welcome. To your reading today. All right. Open up with Season of the Witch. For all my witches and warlocks out there. Crane Magic. It was like the darkest morning. And now there's not a cloud in the sky. What a transformation. Okay, Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay, I'm getting this really weird message that someone's trying to tell you something. So we've got Mother Mary and Crone. So Mother Mary is like the, the angelic spirit that kind of comes in and like, um, you know, a little bit on your what's going on with you, right? Kind of like nurtures you, embraces you, okay? And then with crone, that's the wisdom from your ancestors that call. Okay. Um, I think that all right, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna read this. <coughs> I have to figure out now if I want to read this in a positive or a negative because it's gonna go both ways. I feel like we're going to do it in positive. All right, we're going to switch it. That could have just been a really awful message. And um, I'm going to say that one kind of quick. Uh, somebody could have done a ceremony in your name. <clears throat> and your ancestors are trying to warn you about that. Um, okay, you know what? Let's just read it both ways, man. I'm just going to read it both ways. We're going to reach new levels today, okay? I'm going to read this ceremony upright, and I'm going to read it in reverse. Because the way that I'm seeing it from these two women, these two women have nothing to do with this chick here, okay? Um, but, okay, okay. But they know something happened. Okay, so we're going to read it with ceremony up. There's American. You could be American. Okay. And I think someone's crying over you. Because maybe you chose a different direction. And maybe you think they're a jealous ex. Really, they are jealous. And they are suicidal. 
It's going both ways. Okay, this person's playing two different cards. Um, I feel like a lot of it is okay. So okay, we're doing this ceremony in reverse because this is this is not going in a good direction. So we're doing the ceremony in reverse. It looks like somebody. Um, oh man. You've got a huge shield on you, like a huge shield, which is why your ancestors are coming through right now to tell you about this ceremony that's been done. Okay, so a jealous ex, <clears throat> okay, who clearly used you as entertainment only could have possibly saw you as a joke. Um, this person... Uh, was poor back in the day, or they are still poor, um, possibly homeless or falling on really, really hard times. Okay. Um, they could have kind of latched onto you a little bit too hard thinking that you were going to take care of them. Okay. This person has a really big giant presence. We also have Asia. They could be age of Asian descent. Okay. Um, they, uh, are going to be hitting some stormy weather, okay, for this ceremony that they did. Um, it was a non-verbal ceremony, so you didn't have anything to do with it. This person could live in a big city, okay? Um, but they're stretching off of some type of childhood trauma that they had to live through, and they did witchcraft on you. This, this is a feminine energy, okay? That's very controlling. Um, they think they're the boss in every situation or they want to be the boss in every situation. Um, this person, I think this person dreams of a big city. They want to be in a big city. Um, I also feel like they, they could be gay. Okay. <clears throat> and um, they're quiet about it. Maybe they're a closet. And... Um, this person was expecting to date you or they did date you, um, or that was the direction that they wanted to go in. And then they became this jealous person in the background. Um, and then from the looks of it, like what's the actual ceremony? Okay. So they claim to be some type of virgin or some type of, um, pure energy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> they did some type of romance ceremony on you. They didn't want to move on. So they bound you in some way saying that you were, um, heartbroken over them or they were completely heartbroken over you, you know? Um, when really this person just wanted to stay home. I think this person just wanted somebody to take care of them. They wanted this masculine or feminine energy. They uh, just didn't want to do anything with their time. Really, honestly, this person was just lazy. They just wanted to stay home. So they figured that they would do some type of witchcraft ceremony, okay, uh, and get you to date them. And then all their problems were going to be taken care of. Okay. Uh, this person cheated energy. They took energy that they weren't supposed to, um, by trying to control you. This person has trauma in their life that they don't look at. So they hurt other people. Um, they also could, uh, have a massive STD inside of them. And this sexually transmitted disease is fucking with their head. Okay. It could be like syphilis. Okay. And they're, they're, they're like breathing through all the symptoms. They're going through all the symptoms. And, and honestly, this person should go to the doctor because I think they're sick. They're sick and twisted and they're using their broken heart. Okay. I'm sorry, but your heart cannot break unless you're having a heart attack. Okay. If you're that stuck over somebody, then honestly, that sounds like a spell. That sounds like spell work to me. Um, people are allowed to leave you. They're allowed to walk away. Of course, you're allowed to feel for them. You're allowed to love them, even though they're not around you, but you're not allowed to try to take somebody um, that is not willing. Okay. People have rights. They have personal rights to their own freedom and to their own decisions. And when somebody comes in and does witchcraft, to try to turn the situation around on them. It fucks with everybody else's timelines around them. You have to realize what witchcraft does. 
Okay. It's not just fun and games, practical magic. I'm going to get some guy to fall in love with me and it's all going to be fucking hoops and lilies and flowers and meddings and babies and making love. No, a spell is never going to work that way. If you counteract energy, which is what a spell would do and get somebody to fall in love with you, which if they were never supposed to, then that's in vain. And then try to get that situation to last until the end. You're going to have to manipulate energy every day until that relationship is over or that person dies. That's the thing is witchcraft is not just abracadabra, poof, and everything just poof. It's just going to work out for you. That's not what witchcraft is. And if you think that that's what it is, you're going massively down the wrong road. And I suggest you go down a different road. Okay. Become a magician and fool people in real life, but don't do it in other dimensions. It will fuck you over and it will come back and bite you in the ass. Okay. Fair warning to anybody who thinks they can take somebody else's life in their own hands. Okay. Which is why mother Mary's saying something about it. Now she has, they have to say something about it because it's when, when relate when relationships go in the opposite direction of how they're spiritually supposed to be created, then yeah, you're going to get called out on it. Okay. Anybody's going to get called out. They deserve to get called on it. This is like taking somebody against their own will. You're not allowed to do that. Okay. So <clears throat> that is done. Somebody definitely did some type of ceremony, put your name on it and binded you in like, like you're like the two of you are fucking married. Okay. This person, they wanted you to become a cult member. They wanted to start a cult with you. They're part of a cult. Who the fuck knows? This person is just awful. Okay. It's awful energy, which is why they would do something like this because anybody that's in good energy wouldn't do this. Okay. They wouldn't try to put a spell on somebody that they claimed that they loved. They would allow that person to come towards them, not against them. Okay. So we're going to do the ceremony up right now because I feel like it's possibly a ceremony that's coming into somebody's life. Okay. It's a sacred ceremony. Ooh, look at that. Ace of pipes on the bottom. Just kind of funny. Just to clarify, it's the ace of swords on the bottom. Um, okay. Let's try this ceremony upright. Just saw Leo with strength. You could be a Leo, a lion, or a rising lion, something like that. There's the devil. You could be Capricorn. Okay, give me this ceremony that the mother... Oh my god, a magpie is on my balcony. I don't think a magpie has ever landed on my balcony before. Oh my gosh, look at you. Oh, you got something to eat. What did you find? Hi, sweetie. Oh my God, they're so cute. What are you doing? Are you gonna come closer? Okay. Okay, there's no food though, buddy. I'm sorry. They have these beautiful blue and turquoise feathers in their tail. Oh, people hate them, but I love them. Oh, now he's trying to go into my blanket. Oh my gosh. I fucking love magpies. Anyways, we're gonna get back to the reading. Back to the reading, back to the reading. It's just like, magpies just, like, my balcony's big, but like, they're big birds, so they don't generally land on my shit. Okay. Okay. So, from the looks of it, there's some. Hey! You showed up! Look at that. This is definitely your reading, Aquarius. So this is a spark. Aww. Okay. We also got Virgo here. But it's the Hermit in reverse. So I feel like, oh, there's Gemini. Okay, so, and there's the offer. Oh my God, I think someone's getting married. Yeah. I think it's a possibility.
yeah, there's the tower. Things are never going to be the same for some Aquarius. Oh my God, there's the Queen of Buds. That's so cute. There's Sagittarius. Man, we got Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Getting some serious signage up in here. Anything else? Ah, there's Scorpio. And the King of Bonds. Okay, so there's our couple. There's the Devil and the Ace of Pipes. Okay, so I saw those before. They are going to come out. We're going to take those cards too. Devil, Ace of Pipes, Ten of Wands, the Emperor, the Moon. There's Pisces. Wow. Okay, so <sighs> okay, so <clears throat> I believe that something is going to be given back to you. I do believe that, you know, you could have been part of the first reading, okay, and somebody could have done something to you, done something to your energy that puts you in this whole other timeline, okay, and now you're shifting back to where you need to be, okay, which is why it's the Hermit in reverse with the Seven of Swords in reverse, Seven of Pipes in reverse. Okay, we got the Ten of Pentacles. We've got the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse. Like there's um, a lot of pain that's being released from somebody. Okay, it's like I almost feel like somebody wants to come towards you, but they're waiting. They're waiting until you're ready specifically. Okay, obviously you're the weed and they're they're waiting until you are ready. Okay, until all the swords are out and they they feel that they can present this. Okay, because someone's not going to present that type of energy when it's hostility around. Okay, so it's almost like the energy has to kind of like chill out, right? So I think someone's been waiting to speak to you. Okay, it's like they're hiding but they're ready. So they're waiting for you to be ready because they're ready. Okay. Someone, someone could have been a little couch potato-y. Okay. A little lazy on the situation, but they weren't lazy against you. They were trying to heal. Okay. And laziness that the healing can come off as laziness. Okay. Because it puts people in like a paralyzed state very narcoleptic, okay, very slow, very um, defensive on just dealing with themselves. You know, they don't want anybody around. They don't want to deal with anybody else's problems. They just want them on the front burner, right? Because when you start dealing with other people's problems, then you realize that you're putting your own self behind if you don't do enough self-care, right? Then all these other people have the ability to take over everything and then you are like, okay, well, I was supposed to do groceries today and fucking laundry today. And two people called me and took up my entire day instead. But I needed to do those things. Like you have to learn how to balance yourself properly where you can still do your laundry, still clean your apartment, still cook for yourself and deal with two people's problems at the same time. But it's learning how to like multitask, how to juggle, right? So somebody's learning how to do that because clearly they know that it's kind of like, it's kind of nice because what I think they're trying, what I think they're trying to do is learn how to balance a relationship with their, with their life, right? Like, how are they going to be able to keep their connections? How are they going to be able to keep their friendships while in a relationship? Like maybe this person doesn't, is not, they have a really hard time at 420. 
You know, like they have a really hard time not shoving all that fucking food in their mouth, right? As soon as the time says they can, right? And and that's something that um, is probably why the devil showed up is realizing how to not fuck around you anymore, not to let things take over you, take over your brain to the point where you're just fucking, you know, smoked out and fucking greened out, right? You have to balance yourself. You have to love yourself more so then you can love somebody else. That's the thing. It's like somebody had to put their sativa and their indica together so then they can make it a part of something else. Right? Huge message there I just heard. So, because it's about giving, okay? Somebody has to uh, say some truth, okay? And that's what this Ace of Pipes is about. Someone's got to speak the truth. And that's why they turn into the knight. Because once you realize the truth, then you have to move forward with it, okay? And that's what somebody doesn't know what that's going to be. Someone is like, okay, this is, this is, and like, this is with any proposal. It's, it's like some people uh, think that it's going to go so well. And then the girl's like, are you fucking kidding me? I would never marry you. And they're like, I think like totally read that situation wrong. Like not everybody reads the situation right. So I think this person is like kind of maybe possibly going back and forth with like the dark side of the moon going like, man, this can go really bad. But the thing is, is that anything could go really bad, right? Just don't prepare for the thing that's really bad. Keep yourself in a positive vibration that it is going to work out. And if it doesn't, at least you tried your best and kept yourself focused, okay? Because somebody wants to emperor, which means somebody wants to give. That's the whole point of an emperor. An emperor wouldn't be an emperor if they didn't give up their land to give safety to other people, right? That's the thing. The emperor has to choose to give. And that's what this part is, two of swords, right? Which one do they give? Or are they going to keep both for themselves? That's the thing, okay? And the way that I see it is they end up giving one away, which is the truth. It's the truth they have to stand with. It's the truth that they end up moving forward with, okay? Which is something to do with this page of cups, the offer that comes out of nowhere. You know, it's like the idea that comes out of nowhere because you don't think that it's an idea until it suddenly emerges. And then you're like, that's possible? Yeah, it's possible. Anything is possible as long as you keep yourself in that manifestation kind of mode, right? So then nine of pentacles with the seven of pentacles, it's waiting, okay? Um, waiting for something to grow. It's like somebody, you know, maybe somebody that you're, is around you kind of wants to jump from like the first stage to the 10th. And the universe is like, yo, 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 you got to stop at the seven. So then it grows and it catches up. You can't force a relationship to go from one to 10. It's like... Okay. I knew this guy. I met this guy. I only met him once. He told me, okay, he met his wife on plenty of fish. Okay. And they, the night that they went on their first date, they took off, went to Niagara Falls and got married. Like they just met. And this was a year and a half into their relationship. I met him. He told me the story and his fucking girlfriend, his wife is fucking crazy. And he's like, I don't know. The thing is, is in my mind, the way that he was saying it, he was very regretful of his decision and that he should have dated his wife. But then at the same time, he was like, why are we going to waste our time dating each other? Clearly we liked each other. We got along really well. So we just did it. So there's like two different ways of like seeing a relationship is do you want to, to push past, you know, stage one to six? Like, do you really want to, like, do you really want to take away your first dates and take away um, what builds your relationship and all that time together and just marry somebody? Because that's the thing is if you know, you know, there's no point in wasting time, but if you're going to stay together, then there is no time wasted. What's a ring going to change? It's not going to change anything. Right. Other than the fact that you're never going to be able to get out of it now. Right. So it's like, maybe that's the second part of this is like, um, yeah, somebody who wants to do a ceremony. And that's the thing is like, maybe, maybe this is this first person, right? Maybe this person did this ceremony on you and they, they tried to marry you in some other dimension. So you would come back to them or something you would be with them, but it didn't work. So now they're like, okay, so now I'm going to have to do physical work in order to do this. I'm going to have to come out of hiding. Okay. When I'm ready to get off the couch to deliver this message to the person I've been waiting for, because I can't walk away because I'm at a 
crossroads until I get the hurt out of my heart that this person left me and that I'm the one that fucked up about it because I couldn't balance myself out enough to see that it wasn't ready to go where I wanted it to go. I was just wanting to do something really quickly in order to seal the deal. And that's like, I mean, that's like, you know, having sex with, with somebody on the first date and getting pregnant and then actually having the kid. Right. It's like sometimes just because the world gives you a seed, it doesn't mean it's supposed to be planted. Sometimes you have to do the responsible thing and kill the seed. So then it doesn't breed because it's not supposed to be here per se. Right. So maybe this person had to like reverse this ceremony and do it the right way. Okay. Now I'm getting the song. Stained by Stained. I think it's called Far Away. Now that we're here so far away. And I feel like I can face the day. So like maybe you're far away from this person. Okay, maybe you're just not across the street from this person. And that's what they're so angry about. That's why they did the ceremony, because they thought by doing the ceremony, it was going to bring you back. Okay, when honestly, they could have just called you up and asked you instead of doing some voodoo fucking shit. But it seems like they're going to kind of like clear the air now. Aries, Capricorn. Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgo, and Gemini. And I saw Leo as well. So you tell me if that makes sense. But it seems like somebody's coming forward with something to say. And it seems like they want to make an offer to you. And this is a ceremony, which means it's some type of contract. It's something that brings something together. Right. And I do see three people. So this could be like a third party type of situation, but not interference. Third party is not necessarily interference unless it interferes and is not supposed to be there. Sometimes third wheels just exist. There's things called tricycles. We all know this. There's a pyramid, only three. Now I'm getting 20th century love by taking back Sunday. I'm as cool as the skin rolls across the small of your back. That's too bad. It's not my style if you need me. And I'll be on the parkway patiently waiting for headlights dressed in a fashion that's feeding to the inconsistencies of my moves. Times like these where silence means everything. And no one is to know about this. Oof. It's a campaign of distraction. I'm telling you, I don't know, man. I don't know what is going on with this person, but they have stayed so quiet. It's been so, they've been doing something behind your back so quietly that it's so loud to you. Like, I wonder what this person thinks when they're actually going to say something to you. Hmm. Because they have been, I think, quiet for long enough. Like, this person has very inconsistent moods and, like, they can go very up and down. And so that's, that's the whole temperance part of them is, like, they have to learn how to balance themselves because you can't truly be in a good relationship, balanced relationship, if you're not balanced yourself right? Like the relationship isn't going to balance you out. And then sometimes it does. Hey, this truck just goes by that says access. Hmm. So maybe this person now has access to you. You know what? Like maybe you were, um, you know, cut off from them and, 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 the, and then you, the energy was cut off. They weren't allowed to talk to you. They weren't allowed to say anything to you. And now they weren't allowed to talk to you or say anything to you because of what they did, right? The universe knew that they did something in vain against you. Oh, look at it. it just access truck just turned around and just did a 180. So, you know, like maybe, maybe this is the, this is the thing is that this person realized that they did something that they weren't supposed to do and the, and the universe has been punishing them for doing this to you, 
for putting you into energy that you weren't supposed to. I mean, you have to take, if it goes around, it comes around, you know, if you let it go and it comes back to you, it's yours. If it never comes back, it wasn't yours, but you have to let things go. You have to give things their own frame of mind, their own direction. You have to allow things to make their own decisions on what they want, not just because you want something for them. It doesn't fucking matter. They still get to make their own decisions. Even if you think someone's not seeing clearly, it's your job to help them see clearly, not force them into a situation where they have to see something. You can't force things on people. So, yes, you can. It's very bad energy. So, anyways, we're going to end it at that because that was two readings kind of like in one. I don't really know how to even write that. So, that's going to be a toughie. So, anyways, I hope it resonated. If it does, you know, if, if you liked something that I said or whatever, you know, like, comment, subscribe on the channel, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, this channel is... It's some pretty tough messages. You have to be really, you know, willing to open yourself up to the possibility of hearing something that you don't want to hear. And that's just accepting that you're not perfect and that you've got things to work on like everybody does. No one's perfect. Don't be like my father. Don't think that you're fucking perfect and that you know everything because it's going to fucking ruin your whole life if you act like that. Like, you always have to act like, honestly, it's almost kind of nice to act like you know nothing at all. You know, so that you can always allow that information to come into you. You can always allow that, that, that channel to be open, that you're willing to accept things that you don't know and like learn about things that you're unaware of. Right. This is Palo Santo, by the way, I really like to burn it just to clear energy. It smells so good. It smells like a fucking campfire every time I light it. So I can just hear that taking back Sunday song. It's such a beautiful song. Um, anyways, we're going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Thanks for being a part of this channel. I'm Moonshine. This is Tarot in the Void. Uh, if you want a personal reading, moonshine at gmail, whitneymoonshine at gmail.com. If not, don't worry. Enjoy the freeness that is the channel. If you want a reading, let me know. Uh, email me. It's in the description box below. I just said it. Plus, you can go to the about section as well. And that kind of talks about a little bit of what I do as well and how much I charge. Um, personal readings are going to be taking down soon. I just don't know when. So take advantage of them now if you want. If not, it doesn't matter. They will resurface in the future. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. Good afternoon. Good day. All those wonderful things. Namaste. And obviously goodbye from the beautiful uh, magpie that uh, showed up and just jumped on my balcony, which was amazing. That's like a once in a lifetime thing. They never do that, like I said. So um, something amazing is happening today. So keep your shin up. All right. See ya.